Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the Icon Air Flight Helmet. So if you're interested in that, hang around. But before we do, roll the credits. <laughs> Okay, the Icon Air Flight Helmet. I mean, just look at it. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say. I think this is going to be a more my helmet for everybody. You're either going to love the looks of it with its sci-fi characteristics, or you're going to absolutely hate it. But putting looks aside, because those are totally subjective, what is it like as a helmet? Well, first of all, price-wise, um, I bought this a while ago now. I'm sure I paid about £250 for it off there. Uh, that's probably where I always get my kit from. That's probably eBay or Amazon. I can't remember. I'll put it up on the screen now. Um, so is it worth that kind of money? Well, I'm glad to report, yes, it is. Um, to be quite honest, I can't believe the quality of this helmet for £250. Um, the outside of it is like in this... Um, matte black finish um, it looks very very good it's very very well molded all the parts fit together absolutely amazing um, the features obviously it's got this massive front visor and um, the field of view from this helmet is absolutely brilliant. I must say it is really, really good. It's almost like wearing an open face helmet. This area here, you thought I thought it might get in my vision a little bit, but it doesn't, not at all. Um, there is a massive intake valve air, airflow entry here. Um, the only thing I don't like about that is to actually open the air vents, you have to put your finger inside or your thumb to move the catch up and down. Now the problem with this is you have this, um, I don't know what you call it, a wind guard, chin protector underneath. So when you've got your gloves on to try and get that underneath in between your chin and the actual protector it's very very difficult to do you can remove this this is removable and to be honest when i'm taking the helmet on and off i'm finding that i am catching it and it is coming loose on one side and i have to clip it back in so i may try riding without that in but the reason i'm keeping it in is because obviously with doing moto vlogging i've got a mic inside and it does protect the mic from uh, when noise getting in and intruding on the recording so i will have to test that at a later date but the ventilation is very very good inside the helmet it is very very plush and very very nice um, there is absolutely nothing that catches your ears um, the material is really really soft and plush and it's really well padded all the way through the helmet as I said the airflow in the helmet is very good the one concern that I have with this helmet is depending on what type of um, visor you get it uh, depends whether you can fit a pin lock now I think they make a pin lock in clear light smoke and dark smoke that is made to have a pin lock in but you have to buy the visor plus the pin lock. So it's a double purchase. So it's a little bit expensive. If you have this gold color, silver color, blue, red, purple, pink, they do every color in the rainbow. Uh, mirrored visors for, for these helmets. They look absolutely spectacular. However, if you buy the mirrored colored visors, you're not going to be able to fit a pin lock. And that concerns me about um, the helmet misting and fogging in the winter months when it's uh, raining, cold and damp. Up to yet, um, I have rode with this in the rain and it does mist slightly, but not to the extent that you can't see out of it. You know on some visors, they just fog up and you can't see nothing. This one, it, it does mist slightly, 
but you can still see where you're going and, and it's safe to ride. So in the summer months and in the rain, it's been okay. Later on in winter, you know, I will give you an update and let you know how I go on with this visor. But up to yet, not too too bad. Um, the manufacturer says that the visor is coated on the inside with a anti-fog, anti-mist, whatever you want to call it, um, coating. So perhaps that's why it, it doesn't fog up to the extent that you can't see out of it. But yeah, it is working. Um, it's good at the moment. Um, another thing that I like is how it's actually shaped the visor. You know, on some visors, they have a tiny little tab and it, when you've got your gloves on and you try and get your helmet visor up and you can't lift it because the tab's too small. On this, it's really easy. Just get your hand and you catch the visor straight away. Um, as a lot of modern visors now, it also has a drop down um, pair of sunglasses. Um, with that, they look really dark. They're just perfect. They're not too dark, not too light. They are, for me anyway, I find that they are a really, really good um, tint for riding in the sunlight. Um, another thing I like about them is that the mechanism is really, really good. If you listen, hear that click, it really does click up. And as you can see, it does disappear. Um, you know, you get some of these visors that when they go up, they click and then they drop down and you've just got a little, the, the lip of the, the sun protector protruding out of the helmet. And I hate that. Um, the other thing that I like as well, uh, again, for me personally, with the shape of my head and face, when you do drop them, they come down just to the right uh, distance. On some of them, they're either resting on my nose or they're too high and I can see the bottom of the lens in my eye line. And it's really aggravating. But for me, how this is designed, uh, again, we've all got different heads, so it may not be for you. Try the helmet before you buy. But for me, it is absolutely perfect. Um, the one thing that I will say about the helmet is that I take a small size helmet and I ordered small and once the helmet's on my head it's extremely comfortable but to get it on there is like this neck padding all the way around the bottom and the helmet is very very stiff you know on some helmets you can pull them open and stretch them wide a little bit while you get them on the head with this you can't so to actually get the helmet on to go get past this neck cuff here it's so tight I'm not kidding you, it, it's almost painful to pull it on and to pull it off. However, once you've got it on your head, it's bless. It, it's absolutely amazing. So perhaps that will decrease and wear in a little bit in time. But, um, you know, if you're one of these uh, modern youngsters who likes to wear his earrings and got his ears pierced and God knows what, um, you're going to struggle with this helmet. Um, Definitely, definitely. There's no way you would get this helmet on and off without with earrings in. Um, even without earrings, it nearly pulls your ears off when you take it off. But um, don't let that put you off because once you've got it on, it is really, really comfortable. I would say it's one of the most comfortable helmets that I've ever owned. Um, I don't know what the weight is, but compared with my Arai Tour 4X, uh, I would say this is a lot lighter. Um, doesn't feel heavy at all once you've got it on your head. Um, to take the, the visor off and change the visors out is very, very simple. Like most modern armies, it's just a quick click off of the side tags and you just pinch the tag and away you go. It's off and then you can um, replace with a, a different visor. I have to say, um, when I bought this, I don't know whether it comes from the manufacturer like this, but I got two visors with it. I ordered the gold and they sent me a clear as well. So, uh, big thumbs up there for value. The vents on the top of the helmet, again, another feature I really like. You know, some helmets, again, my Arai Tour. Uh, to open the vents, they've got tiny little buttons. And when you've got big, thick winter gloves on, you're feeling around the top of the helmet. You can't really feel them. Uh, and it's difficult to know whether they're open or closed. With these, they're great big, massive buttons. It's just a simple matter of putting your hand and just going back and you will open and close the vents. Um, other than that, um, I would say that I'm very happy with the helmet. 
noise wise um it is a noisy helmet um i hear mixed reviews i hear some people say that oh it's a really quiet helmet and i hear other people say that it's a really noisy helmet i find it a really noisy helmet um I don't wear earplugs very often. You know, if I've got my Arai Tour on, I won't wear earplugs in that helmet. Uh, it's a very, I wouldn't say it's the quietest of helmets, but I don't think you need to wear earplugs of that helmet. However, with this, you definitely need ear defense. Um, other than that, it being a noisy helmet, I really like it. Um, it does put me off a little bit get any on and off because at the moment like I say it is really painful it, it's like somebody it's like having a rugby player on each ear just trying to tear your ears off but as I said once it's on it's really really comfortable another thing I find because you've got this massive real estate with this visor um, when it rains depending on what the bike you're riding you can get very mixed results with it when I ride my Benelli TRK um, with the screen, the WRS screen I've got on that, rain hits the visor and it just shears off straight away. It is the best helmet on that bike for riding in the rain that I've ever owned. It is absolutely amazing. It, it just, I can't describe it. It just disperses the water so well. However, um, I recently rode my wife's Honda NC750X um, with, uh, I think she's got a jivvy screen on that, a tall screen on that. And the water did collect on the visor. And uh, I find myself having to constantly clear the visor with my glove. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. You would just have to see what it was like on your bike with your setup and your stature and everything. Um, the type of riding I've done in it, I've done just bimbling around the country lanes and I've also done uh, motorway riding. Um, I had to go up to Edinburgh recently and I went to up with the wife on the back of the, the Honda and at motorway speeds, as I said, it was noisy, but the aerodynamics of it was very good. I wasn't getting buffeting. Um, on that bike, on the Honda, I find with the screen, when I get to about 60, 70 miles an hour, if I'm wearing my Arai Tour with the peak, uh, my head's giving it all this and it's shaking my eyeballs out of my, my head. With this, I didn't get that. I got a little bit of buffeting, but um, I think with the air flowing, it would have been very, very clean. Um, it did help. So if you've got a bike that kicks up a lot of dirty air and you're struggling with, um, with buffeting, take a look at one of these for me anyway personally in my situation it seemed to help with that so um enough rambling let's get on the bike and let's uh, see what it's like okay so hello everybody so uh, actually on the bike I have ridden in this helmet many times before, however this is the first time I've actually got the uh, camera set up and the mic on the helmet, so hopefully um, you can hear me. <laughs> it's always the bane of my life setting up these mics on new helmets. Um, yeah, so let's dive straight into the helmet itself. Um, one thing I didn't mention when I was talking earlier was the chin strap. Um, the chin strap is very, very comfortable. It's really well padded around the strap. Um, it is one of those chin straps that fits really close to your throat. I'm not a big fan of that, but um, I'm glad to report it's not too bad. Um, it isn't um, aggravating me in any way or whatsoever. I thought it might have done when I very first put the helmet on. However, no. Um, it's uh, it, it's fine. It's it's really nice. I'm just in two minds which way to go here. Um, another thing I have to say about the helmet. Um, it doesn't really affect many of you out there, but if you are considering moto vlogging with this helmet, it is quite difficult to set up to get the camera placed. Um, I think ideally it would be good here on the, 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 the front chin part, but the problem you've got with that is obviously 
you lift it up so how you would attach your mic I'm not quite too sure um, the other thing that I notice with this, what I don't notice on my uh, Arai Halmeter is because the Halmeter is so light, I can actually feel the weight of the GoPro. I can feel it tilting my head to the side like this. Um, you soon get used to it. Um, I say I can feel it. I can't feel it now because I've been wearing the helmet for around 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, but when I first put the helmet on, it was very noticeable. Uh, the weight of the GoPro pulling the helmet to the right side. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the audio quality is like on this helmet. Um, I'm only doing 50 miles an hour now and I can hear the wind noise inside the helmet. There's not a great deal I can do about it, it's just one of the characteristics of this helmet and if it is affecting the audio then I am going to have to find a workaround. Um, perhaps add another dead cat onto the mic or something like that, but hopefully um, you can hear me nice and clearly. Um, as I said about the helmet being stable, um, on this bike with this screen on I get very very little turbulence anyway but um, it's absolutely supreme um, the aerodynamics of this helmet are absolutely wonderful um, it's quite a warm humid day today um, I've got the visor completely down and I've got all the air vents closed um, and the screen is not misting up at all. It did mist up slightly when I very first put it on. I was walking around in the yard and there was no airflow into it. Uh, but even then, it didn't mist up to the extent that I couldn't see out of it. So, up to yet, very, very pleased with the helmet. Um, one thing I have noticed with the helmet, um, there are inserts for uh, putting earpieces in, speakers, if, you, if you've got a Bluetooth headset like I have, um, I've got the Cardo packed up old, and um, I put the, the speakers into the designed recesses, and I found that when I put the helmet on, my ears, um, as I've already said, the bottom of the helmet is extremely narrow and it feels like you've got two rugby players trying to pull your ears off. Um, but once you get the helmet on, your ears sort of fit snugly into the recesses designed for that purpose and it's very, very comfortable. However, after putting the earpieces in, I think just that extra bit of padding, it's just pinching the top of my ears when I put the helmet on so I sort of have to put the helmet on and then jiggle it around slide my fingers up the inside of the helmet and just push the tops of my ears back into position and once you've done that it's fine it's super comfy again but it's just something to note um, if you do use a packed up bulb that it does cause a bit of uh, jiggling around once you've got the helmet on with the, the earpieces and well, for me anyway, should I say. Um, as I've had pointed out on some of my reviews, we're all different shapes and sizes. Uh, so I will reiterate what I'm going to say on all my reviews. Um, don't take what I say as gospel, because what fits my shape of head might not fit yours. The only way to tell if uh, you like a bike or if clothing or helmets or gloves fit you is to go out and try them on. Uh, but hopefully this review will give you a sort of uh, background to what you can expect from the helmet. Um, I can't stress enough that I am, oh, I'm, I'm so pleased with this helmet, it is really, really beyond all my expectations. For a £250 helmet, um, I didn't expect it to be this good, but to tell you the truth, um, I'm a big fan of Icon as a brand. Um, I've never really had anything off them before and then last year I bought a set of waterproofs um, and I was blown away by the quality. Uh, really, really good high-vis um, waterproofs. Not to everybody's taste. Um, I had the high-vis because I tend to only wear um, waterproofs when I'm on the motorway um, or I'm in really bad, dark, rainy, 
conditions and it's more of a safety feature because the the suit that I have uh, I have the Retro Pro Infinity Pro should I say uh, you don't need waterproof with it anyway because it's that good of a suit it's a, a laminated suit and it doesn't let any water through but it's just that added little bit of protection and visibility when you're on the motorway at night or in, in really bad rain so yeah icon very very good uh, pieces of kit um, as per usual i forgot to put my earplugs in <laughs> as i was saying earlier this helmet is uh, a very noisy helmet and i would recommend that you get ear defense um, whether you use the molded type or uh, the little rubber inserts where it doesn't block off the noise completely those are the ones i use uh, i use the pin lock and they're, they're very good i can have them in and i can still listen to my music near the, the engine sign but it, it just cuts off uh, the sort of decibels that damage your ear, that frequencies that damage your ear, so you can still hear things. Um, I used to use the little foam squishy ones where you just push them into your ear, but I don't like those because they sort of deaden everything. You can't hear the engine, you can't hear cars behind you. Um, so I much prefer the, the new modern ones where you can actually hear what's going on around you, but they still protect your ears. This is more battle, a lovely little place, all the walkers are out. It's great now the lockdown restrictions have been lifted. This is my first day out uh, after returning to the country from working overseas. So it's the, the first day out on the bike. Um, in fact, it's the first trip out on the bike and I can't tell you how good it feels. The first ride is always the best one. So, um, what do you think of the helmet? Do you like the looks of it? Do you like the Space Age looks? I'm a big fan. I've never seen anything like this helmet. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so I guess what the acid test is, um, would I buy this helmet again now that I know what it's like? And I have to say, absolutely yes. Uh, I think it's a great helmet. I really like it. Uh, the pros are, I think it looks fantastic, um, it, it's quite light for a helmet, um, it's very good quality and good value for money, um, everything works really well on it, um, I would say that the downsides are that it is a very noisy uh, helmet, you know, you need to wear ear protection with the helmet. And um, up to yet, I think that's the only downside with it really that I can find. So, um, I will bring this short review to an end. I hope you have enjoyed the review and it's been helpful for you. Um, if you have enjoyed, please give it the big thumbs up and press the likes button. It really does help the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please click the subscribe button. You don't get bombarded with emails or anything like that. It just means you can find the channel easy when you get onto YouTube the next time you're up for a little bit of viewing. So all that's left to say is, um, everybody rides safe, bike rider reviews out.